What's up you guys, this video is a continuation of my first sideways worm video. This is actually gonna show you guys how to do it in a repetitive motion, moving sideways and also in a circle. Both are pretty much just continuations of the worm, but there's a certain technique that we have to understand first. So the first thing, we have our standard sideways worm. If you haven't learned that, again, click the sideways worm video, learn that video, learn how to do it, and then we'll move on. All right, we're now going to, I'm gonna do it sideways so you guys can see better. We're gonna to go to a push-up position. With this push-up position, we're gonna step under, we're gonna drop our hips, we're gonna roll and pick up. From here, we step under again, and we repeat the sideways worm. Let's try that again. From here, step under, hips, chest, roll, pick up, hips, chest, roll, pick up. We did that twice. That's, the bit, that's I guess, would be the more obvious route that we would take, is just doing the sideways worm multiple times, just stepping under each time. To make it a little bit more tricky and a little bit more dynamic, we're gonna jump. Instead of just stepping under, we're gonna switch our legs. So, what that looks like, we go step under, hips, chest, roll, pick up, and instead of just stepping under, we are gonna go switch, and then we go again, roll, pick up, and then you switch. All right, what that looks like is this. Boom. All right, the other thing that we wanna do is use our hands to kinda of push ourselves. So if you guys practice this, sitting here in a push-up position, jump. That's basically what we're doing, but with the side of his arm, so your hands push yourself, so you actually move. If you don't push yourself, you'll end up just kind of traveling in a complete circle, which we don't want to do if we're moving sideways. All right, so let's try this again. I'm gonna start a push up position, step under, hips, chest, roll, pick up, switch. Hips, chest, roll, pick up, switch. All together, a little bit faster, it looks like this. Again, this is something that you guys really had to practice and understand before moving on. This is what it looks like all together. So the last thing we're gonna learn is how to do sideways worm in a circle. This is important because it's another dynamic to this single move, the sideways worm. We're gonna now, instead of moving our arms, pushing us forward, we're gonna push it the other way, causing ourselves to go in a circle. So the first basic thing we're gonna do is travel, learn how to travel in a circle from what you guys learned first. Push in position, step under, hips, chest, roll, pick up. Notice I didn't move my arms to make sure I was going forward. Then we go again, hips, chest, roll, pick up. If you notice, if you keep your hands generally centered, it's gonna cause you to just move in a circle versus moving forward. Again, hips, chest, roll, pick up. All together, hips, chest, roll, pick up. Hips, chest, roll, pick up. And again. After you guys get that down, what we wanna do is add a little hop, just like we did with moving sideways. Instead of pushing ourselves forward, we're gonna push ourselves the other way, which is gonna make us spin in a circle. So. That looks like this. Step under, hips, chest, roll, and then we are gonna go switch, hips, chest, roll, switch, hips, chest, roll, switch. Going slow, you can't really do the push, but when you go fast, you add the little push just to give you that extra boost as you spin. All right, so this is what it looks like all together. Hope you guys enjoy, learn the techniques, learn them both ways, get them down, understand them, and then get creative. Peace out. <laughs>